Right now, a dangerous man is on the run right here in Tampa Bay. Police in New York issuing a warning about this man, an MMA fighter who's known for more than just beating people inside the ring. ABC Action News reporter Clifton French is live in Brandon, where he was last seen. Clifton? Yeah, deputies say he came running out of this Walgreens behind me. He went past several businesses over here and was able to get away from deputies by escaping through this woods behind all of these businesses. Tonight, we're learning he is suspected in several other crimes. Knowing that that guy can, he can physically hurt somebody, that just makes it 10 times worse. Tim Trosha was working at this restaurant when John Bettencourt Jr. came bolting out of this Walgreens. He ran past the door and he had a duffel bag. That bag full of stolen goods. Tim, his manager, and Walgreens employees ran after him. They had the suspect surrounded at the end of this street, but he managed to escape, and now businesses are on high alert. I am a mom. I have several children, and they are often here at the bakery with me. Megan Maylin owns a nearby bakery. Worries me. I'm here late, and I don't want to be here alone, knowing that there's somebody running around that the police can't or have not caught yet. He's a, a martial arts expert, uh, MMA fighter, and an MMA um, trainer. We did some checking and found pictures of him online listed as a personal trainer. According to the sheriff's office, he has a violent past and did prison time in New York. We're just really concerned that he's going to end up hurting somebody if he's confronted and, and boxed in somewhere where he can't get away. If he can, you know, do it somewhere else, he can do it here. And deputies tell us that his crime spree didn't end after he uh, disappeared into that woods back there. He's now suspected in uh, two, at least two, other burglaries in this area. Deputies warn if you see him, call 911. Do not approach him because of his training. I'm reporting live in Hillsborough County. Clifton French, ABC Action News.